Okay. Welcome, everyone. I think we're going to start our stream, and then we'll be good to go. Well, good afternoon, everyone. We are so grateful to have you here, um, whether you're here with us or joining us uh, through the wonders of technology, because we have a really special, special event. We are so glad to welcome Leah Morris as um, to a concert with Leah Morris, who has, um, and we have a special guest that we weren't expecting, which is um, Pat and Sandy from Emma's Revolution are here also, so we're really happy to have them as well. You know, the, um, we were talking um, just a little bit be before with Leah about how the pandemic gave us some, some gifts. And one of the things the pandemic gave to this congregation was the music of Leah Morris, because we discovered Leah, who was uh, one of those entrepreneurial spirits, musical entrepreneurs who got out there and started putting out just wonderful, wonderful um, uh, music that really spoke to those times that we were in and continue to speak to the times we're in. We were grateful those of us here to, in this congregation to be able to share some of Leah's music this morning. And um, we are so grateful to have this international star in our midst and so grateful to be here. So thank you all for being here. Um, I will just mention for those online that we do have a tip jar set up and we hope that you will donate. I will be posting that link on our YouTube page. We're really grateful to have all of you here and welcome to Leah Morris. At the start of any given day, there is mystery available. There's a game waiting for an open heart to say yes. Here I am, I'll play. If we're smart, we'll listen to the way And all the misery that held us down We'll let it fade, let it be outshined by the sinful spark Of a light that's waiting to be made It's waiting to be made. What will you make of this day? What will you keep and what will you change? What will you see? What will you believe? What will you make of your dream? Will you keep sleeping or will you awaken and decide what you will make? At the start of any given there is mystery and poetry. There is a game of play. You're not in the audience. You are a star. So get out there and sing. What do you? What will you make of this day? What will you keep? What will you change? And what will you see? What will you believe? What will you make of your dreams? Will you keep sleeping? Or will you awaken and decide what you will make of this day? What will you keep? What will you change and what will you see? What will you believe? What will you make of your dreams? Or will you keep sleeping? Or will you awaken and decide? 
decide what you A little about me. I was born in Washington, D.C. It was a very good year, <laughs> I would say. And when I was a little girl, we lived in Baltimore. We lived in a house, and we had a little driveway, and my parents would park their Ford Aerostar. The Ford Aerostar is a whole separate story, but they would park this car beside the house, and my little sister and I would go out, and we'd play, where are we going to go? And I just remembered this yesterday. Whenever we were sitting in the Aerostar and we were planning where we were going to go, there were always two possible destinations, the promised lands, as it were. We were always either going to go to McDonald's, <laughs> fact, or California. <laughs> yep. So I finally made it. I made it to the promised land, left the Ford Aerostar, came in a, by slightly different means. but. Uh, I'm really, really grateful to be here, and I just feel the energy is so, I don't know what it is. I don't know what y'all have going here, but somewhere between the land and the people, everyone I've encountered, every experience I've had so far has just been wonderful and blessed. So thank you for being part of that. Thank you. So my mom. Sandra Lee Jones Morris was born in Alexandria, Virginia. I don't know why I feel like I gotta do introductions. And they were born in the year 19, I don't know. So when my mom was a little girl, she always told us she wanted to be an opera singer. She was a fan. She heard and saw the images of Marian Anderson and was inspired that that would be her life as well. And she had a mama, Bertha Jones, who was a very able sense talker. She immediately started young, talking sense into her little girl. And so my mom did not become an opera singer. But lucky for me, my mom never talked any sense into me. <laughs> she learned um, not to do that, at least for me. So I'd like to sing a song for my mom called Mama Knows. And I'd like to invite you to sing it with me. I'll sing the refrain and just so we get a sense of where we're going. <laughs> knows mama knows mama knows mama knows one more time yeah mama knows very nice very nice we're ready and so just a, a little aside i didn't used to preface the songs the song and i didn't used to talk about my songs as much as i do but it is helpful to get feedback from your audience. I had an occasion where I was playing a show and a gentleman came up to me afterwards and said, you know, I really enjoyed your set, especially that song about Vamanos. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's not what I'm going to be singing. <laughs> if you want to, you're welcome. Go right ahead. But just so you have context, it's the original version was Mama Knows. She used to tell me, look left, look right. Don't stop for nothing, honey child. Just keep stepping till you get home. And she would say not to stay out. Spot trouble coming for a mile. Just keep stepping soon as you know that you will be on. All right. If you just listen to me, I've been around a while. You can believe your mama knows mama. Tell me, watch out for that man. 
Cause he's gonna get you if he can And he ain't worth turning your head around So you got to know what you're about Don't let nobody slow you down Cause you still got a long way to go Yes, you will be oh, all right If you just listen to me I've been around a while Reverend Leslie mentioned, we became aware of one another during the lockdown. And I'm sure you, like I, have learned many things through that unexpected experience. <laughs> many things about yourself and about the world and technology and on and on and on. And one of the things that I sort of discovered, or really discovered a, a, an appreciation and it's a lot of fun, and maybe sanity through the fun, was uh, the loop pedal. And I've got an industrial strength loop pedal along with me today. <laughs> many, many knobs. And the basic principle of it is that I'm able to record in the moment and then stack another recording on top of that until, you know, I, yeah, <laughs> until forever and ever. So just to give you a sense of the kind of fun that I spent hours and hours and hours, I still do. With this machine, oh, let's just go. So just, you let an idea come in and you just play with the thing. So I just wanted to let y'all know that's what's happening. <laughs> if it ever occurs that there are too many sounds happening for me to be actually making them simultaneously, that's why. This song was inspired by India Ari. Do any of you know India's music? Yeah, she's a brilliant neo-soul artist. And uh, I was at a concert of hers six years ago, and I know specifically because I programmed a time capsule into this song. Uh, it was the year before I turned 40. And incidentally, India and I are the same age. So she was at this concert talking about her path as an artist to where she was. And just in the conversation, in, in the sharing between the songs, she mentioned a sense that she had kind of inadvertently made the decision to become a superstar and release the idea of becoming a parent, even though both of those were things that she had wanted to do as a younger woman. And she started crying about it. You know, she, she was in the process of making her peace with that decision. And I started crying about the inverse because I felt like I had made the opposite decision to, to nurture my family and be at home with my, my kids and my partner and not to pursue music as strongly as I might have if I didn't have a family at home. And so she's crying on stage and I'm crying in the audience and I look around, there's 500 other people just bawling our eyes out publicly. Very, very healing moment. And I assume it was not because everybody wanted to be a parent or everybody wanted to be, you know, a touring musician, but that everybody who was crying understood the experience of 
letting go of a dream, letting go of something they thought they might have liked to experience in this lifetime. So this song is based on that moment with India and everybody else. <laughs> And that's the case for all of us. Certainly everyone in this space and everyone who has the time and the capacity and the freedom to, to be on a Zoom right now or in a room right now. And I, I want to share this song that was written by Bill Withers. Just as I'm thinking, kind of 
forward and backwards thinking about my kids and thinking about my mom and my mom's mom. And, and I want to be sure that in talking about Bertha, my grandma's choice to encourage my mom to follow a more, a safer path, that her decision to do so was out of care, out of love, out of wanting my mother to be safe. You know, you get an education and you, you follow the beaten path, the, the sure path that, that will lead you to success and security. And my grandma, maybe your grandma, and certainly our own internal fears when they tell us, oh, don't do that, don't do that scary big thing that could wind up who knows where or what, fear is trying to protect us. And so what I'm learning is that it's actually helpful for me to honor the fears. When it says to me, Leo, ooh, don't try that. Ooh, you wanna go where? You wanna do what? You better go to McDonald's. California is far. <laughs> That's far. You don't know what's gonna happen. Who's over there? And uh, thank you, fear. I really appreciate you. Elizabeth Gilbert has this beautiful thing where she says, you know, fear is always going to be in the bus with you. Just don't let it drive. So I honor that it's there and it's trying to give me directions. I'm like, you have no idea where we're going for you. So uh, this is a song by Bill Withers and I wanna invite you to help me. Uh, this is something I'm, that is in development. It's sort of Bill Withers meets Queen. So I don't know if that ever happened in real life, but like, huh. Okay, so what I mean is, you know that Yeah, so I'd like a little of that in between the the sung parts. I think we could do it. You wanna let's let's get that rhythm going. Two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. church on Sunday morning. Grandma's hands play the tambourine so well. My grandma's hands used to issue out a warning. She'd say, baby, don't you run so fast. You might fall on a piece of glass. There might be snakes there in that grass. Grandma. So it occurred to me that my grandma, Bertha, Bertha, both my grandmas, Grandma Bertha and Grandma Geraldine, they had seven and eight children respectively because it was a competition back then. 
And uh, I would venture to guess they were both women who worked outside of the house and were responsible for maintaining their own homes and feeding the children and doing all those things. And uh, I guess that neither of them ever had the luxury that I have, for example, of waking up in the morning before my kids, before my husband, and saying, I'm going to go out. I'm going to take a walk. It might be half an hour. It might be two hours. I'll be back. Take care of yourselves. See you in a bit. And I go and I take care of me, because that's one of my favorite ways to do that. And I'm, I have a really hard time imagining that either of my grandmothers ever had, felt they had the time, took the time to just do something like that for themselves, for really no other purpose other than self-preservation, self-care. And uh, this is a song that was born on one of my walks. And it's called Little Feather. And it's inspired by a little feather. A very unimpressive feather. If you saw this feather, you wouldn't. You know, some feathers, some things like you pick up on the beach or whatever, you go, ooh, ooh, that belonged to a great grandfather. You, you know, some elements give us that reaction. This was one of those ones you'd just be like, hmm. Maybe you wouldn't even notice it. I imagine some sparrow or something like came down and went, and then flew off. <laughs> it's just this little fluff. Nevertheless, for whatever reason on that day, it caught my fancy and I did stop and I stood with it long enough for it to gift me this song. And for me, many of these songs, especially the, the chants, the really quick, just clicky tunes, are a reminder of something that I want to carry with me. And so any given moment, it might be, whoo, I need to get, I, I need to, to, to forgive myself or I need to, to just let this be what it is. Whatever it is, I have like a little song that will drop in and help me to repeat some mantra or some concept that helps me. It's like software. You know, we're always running some kind of software. And so the question is, what is it? What, what's your programming telling you or, or encouraging you to do in any given moment? Songs are my software. So this is Little Feather. Little feather, I'm on my way, gone tomorrow, here today. Little feather, I cannot stay, I'm always moving on. Got to get somewhere, got to get something. I never stand still, how can I stand still? Little feather, I'm on my way, gone tomorrow, here today. Little feather, I cannot stay, I'm always moving on. Got to get somewhere, got to get something. I never stand still, how can I stand still? Ba -dum -bum -bum. Little feather, I'm on my way, gone tomorrow, here today. Little feather, I cannot stay, I'm always moving on. Got to get somewhere, got to get something. I never stand still, how can I stand still? Little feather, I'm on my way, gone tomorrow, here today. Got to get something. Got to get. I never stand still. Got to get. How can I stand still? Got to get. Little feather, I'm on my way. Oh, I never 
a little girl, my mother said it maybe once, maybe twice, but clearly enough that I will always remember. She said to me, to my sister, you're ambassadors. You are ambassadors. And maybe if anybody ever said anything similar to you, <laughs> then you know what I'm talking about. And maybe no one ever did and you don't have reference for it. But I feel like so fortunate to say that so much of my life has been dedicated to music and joy and spirit and connection and love and kindness that it's hard for me to fathom sometimes. Some people have hardly any of that. And so it is absolutely my great honor my privilege, and I feel like one of my most important callings to carry all that goodness that I've been given to overflowing. You know, my cup is running over and over and over and over to just get where anybody who wants some of that can get some of it, because I, I know how fortunate I am and how much joy is available to us. It's just not always easy to access, I understand that. Because there's a lot going on in the world that makes us think that that's all there is, the, the unjoy.
from round here on some days it can be hard to say if anyone is even listening am i the only one who ever feels this way Ooh, if i get up now and try will i make it just one more step can you find a reason why So a question, does anyone know what is considered to be the world's oldest profession? <laughs> ah, someone knows. <laughs> someone knows. So I was raised in a very religious uh, household. My mother is very devoutly Baptist. My father, very devoutly atheist. And <laughs> I am very much somewhere in between them with my concepts and understandings of the world and what's beyond it. But um, I was invited to do, when I was a, because you know, maybe half my lifetime ago actually, now that I think about it, I was invited to be part of a fundraiser for an organization called HIPS, which um, is in support of sex workers, getting the care and the dignity that every single human being deserves. And at first, when I was invited, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know where I stand on these issues, you know, 20-ish. And I'm still kind of tipping a toe out of my upbringing, let's put it that way. And so the, the invitation was an opportunity for me to decide where I stood. Do I want to support this? Do I believe that that is a reasonable thing? And uh, thankfully, I, I was clear-headed enough then already to know, yeah. But if I'm gonna do this, then I need to really mean it. I can't just be like, okay, I'll show up and I'll sing some songs and it'll be fine. No, I need to mean it, I need to internalize it. So I wrote this song um, then. It's called Debbie. So if anybody here is named Debbie, it's not necessarily about you. <laughs> you know Dr. Maya Angelou, that was part of her path. So you just never know. Debbie's got the world on her shoulders. When she's a little bit older, maybe she'll be all right. Right now she's got a four-month-old daughter. It seems that nobody told her. Sometimes they cry all night. And she until the sun goes down. Debbie's got an age-old profession and it's a tricky position she finds herself in. From time to time she'll run into someone and he won't know where he knows her from. She'll say, well, ain't that a sin? She lies, and she lies all night sometimes. I wakes before the sun goes down. Everybody knows that be everybody. Sunshine and 
sell it to the stars And everybody said she would make it Now when she does, she just fakes it And in her mind, she's so far When she's high Everything's alright At least for a while At least until the sun goes down Everybody knows Debbie, everybody knows Debbie, everybody knows Debbie never had a chance to be a star Never could have been more than she is Never could have been good as you are But it could have been sees the world as a yo-yo. She'll admit that she don't know what anything is for. They bring you here without your permission. And we're all just doing the best we can until we can't anymore. And she Till the sun went down. Everybody knows Debbie. Everybody knows Debbie. Everybody knows Debbie. Everybody knows Debbie. Everybody knows Debbie now. Thank you. Okay, so who can tell me what the second oldest profession is? Anybody know? <laughs> what was it? Music's the first. Music's the first, so would that it were so. <laughs> These. Using the first, that's right. It, it has to do with the results of the first, precisely. Yeah, and, I, and I'll say no more. This song is called The Swell. And, well, I guess I will say a little more. Um, when I wrote this song, the country was in a very different state than it is now. And it was almost like, ah, we don't need this. <laughs> we don't need this. Everything's fine. Why am, we, why am I even singing this song? Right? And, and, and so I didn't play it for like a long time, maybe 10 years or something, because it's like, ah, we're fine. That's covered. And then I was like, oh. I don't want to need this song anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to have to sing this song. There's so many other things that we need. Ugh, anyway. Everything is well. Him and his friends are looking down on me and my friends in our little town. And that's the way it's always been. We get our cues from the rules of the nobleman. Noblemen in their suits with 
their noble pursuits that ain't gonna fly anymore no 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 more it's quite a task for some a woman do what he can't and say she's bound by law and high to put out fruit and by God to multiply and then they, they'd send our brothers and they'll send our sons to fight their battles to polish their guns and that's a game I'll never understand designed and over God, it's not the case anymore. No, 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 no. Cast your mind back upon the time. The girl you once were committed the crime of your decision to let one go. That was the brother that I will never know. And may she never know, sneaking into some old lady's den. She says, hold your skirt up, hold your tears in. If you're a lucky girl, then you might live to tell. Here, Mama, I thought I knew you so well. But she says, well, that's the hell that a woman knew well. Thank God it's not the case anymore. Thank you. I'm so grateful, so, 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 so grateful for so many things all the time, constantly. And sometimes I get to just narrow in on <laughs> very specific beings and, and opportunities to just bask in the goodness that's available to us as human beings. Emma's revolution is here, and, and I'm so grateful. And I wonder if Sandy and Pat would get up and sing a song they've maybe never heard before with me. <laughs> um, and it's a call and response. It's a super straightforward tune. And I would invite all of us who feel inspired, if, if you want to sing as well, that would be super welcome and appreciated. That's our favorite thing to do, is sing a song we don't know. Come on. I could barely keep my mouth shut listening to some of this. It's like wanting to take off with this. <laughs> I'm so inspired. Isn't she amazing? Yeah. <laughs> Freedom is my birthright. Freedom is my birthright. I was born in freedom, and I must grow in freedom. I claim my freedom now. 
Freedom is my birthright. Freedom is my birthright. Oh, you want echo? Yeah, freedom <laughs> is my birthright. Freedom is my birthright. I was born in freedom. I was born in freedom. And I must grow in freedom. And I must grow in freedom. I claim my freedom now. I claim my freedom now. So can we sing that together? Freedom is your birthright. 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 You were born in freedom. You were born in freedom. You must grow in freedom. You must grow in freedom. I bless your freedom now. I bless your freedom now. Freedom to love, freedom to love, freedom to live, freedom to live, free to receive, free to receive, and free to forgive, free to forgive. Freedom is our birthright. Freedom is our birthright. Freedom. Our freedom now. I bless our freedom now. Freedom to love. Freedom to love. And freedom to live. Freedom to live. Free to receive. Free to receive. And free to forgive. Free to forgive. Oh, oh, oh. Freedom. Is our birthright. Freedom, freedom is our birthright. Freedom is our birthright. Freedom is our birthright. Freedom is our birthright. We were born in freedom. We were born in freedom. We must grow in freedom. We must grow in freedom. I bless our freedom now. I bless our freedom now. I bless your freedom now. I bless your freedom now. I claim my freedom now. Well, that's so amazing. I think you're going to sing. Aren't you going to sing with us? I don't know. <laughs> We're so happy to be with you all. Some of you know us. I'm Sandy O from Endless Revolution. And I'm Pat Humphreys. And I cheered for Washington, D.C. when Leah said she was born in Washington, D.C. because that's where we first met you. So we lived in Maryland, and we would see Leah at various festivals, and she already was doing like amazing, you know, many things with feet and hands all at the same time. So I'm so thrilled that you have that machine because it... Yeah, it takes the weight off your hands and feet. <laughs> but um, we, you know, we would cross paths uh, just a few times because it was the before time. And then during the weird pandemic that we've all gotten a chance to live through, that is when we saw and heard you over and over <laughs> again with deep joy every time. Every month, every week, maybe even every day you'd hear a new song from Leah. And we got a chance to perform together a lot online. So um, we love that, and, but infrequently more mm. in person. So I here we are. It. Yeah, don't you think? That's just a magical thing. Yeah. What? It's, what it's so that? true that you know, we would cross paths at, at various festivals and things. But you know, when we do the same thing for a living, it, it exactly. turns out that we're often somewhere else, yep. you know, where she's working at home or the, the opposite is true. So we truly crossed paths much more online yeah. than we ever did in in life when we lived very close to one another. So we're happy to be here to oh do my two gosh. songs in this what amazing show and Leah's going to join us on both of them and you can join us on this one. Shoot, that's fine. No, it's fine. Okay. 
This is a song that we wrote during the pandemic. Uh, you know, our usual pattern, mine and Sandy's, is that um, we would usually write a song when something, it, you know, difficult or something joyous and amazing happens in the world. We would write a song and we would take off out in, in, into the streets where people were either celebrating that or pointing out something that, that we need to fix, you know, together. And um, when George Floyd was, was killed, you know, just holding that grief was, was too much. And we knew because actually during that time we couldn't go out in the streets. We had immune compromised folks in our pod so we were being very cautious. Uh, so, but needing to do something with that energy was really important. So I, I wrote this song and, and we did many, many r rallies and, and gatherings online uh, during that time to, to just help put some more tools out into the world so that, so that other people could hold their grief, so that other people could register their outrage at, at uh, what was going on in the world, so um, <clears throat> so we're doing this. And, and just to, to point out, because we saw on, on the television that the people who could showed up, they went out in, into the streets, and, and it seemed like everybody did, you know, and everybody marched side by side during that time. We, we looked at those images and we, we just said, look, our people, these are our people. So clearly, because you're here, you're our people, too. <laughs> our people gonna rise. Our people gonna rise. Listen to our cries through the pain and lies. Our people gonna rise. Our people gonna say. Our people gonna say. Our people gonna say. In spite of everything. Freedom ring, our people gonna sing. Our people gonna fight. Our people gonna fight. Our people gonna fight. fight. What we know is right. We we'll march into the night. Our people gonna fight. Our people gonna agree. Our people gonna agree. Our people gonna agree. Whatever you believe, we have the right to breathe. Our people gonna grieve. Our people gonna pray. Our people gonna pray. Our people gonna pray. Take our rights away. See you on election day. Our people gonna pray. Our people gonna rise. Our people gonna rise. Listen to our cries through the pain and lies. Our people gonna rise. 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 Thank you. should always do that song with you. <laughs> Y'all don't, or maybe you do know and remember that there was a time when I was like, you know, I don't care where you are. Call me and I will come. I will come and make music with you. And anyway, I'm so grateful that things have unfolded such that it's possible more and more often. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, yeah, you know, the whole time I was sitting, <laughs> listening to you, I was thinking, how can we get her back? Where, where can we, where can we meet up again? You know? <laughs> What fun. Wow. Wow. So should we do the other song? Yeah. Should we do the other the, yeah. Okay. Which one? I think. Oh, this one? I think so. It's, uh, it's one of the joys of, uh, of having friends who, who play. You know, we, we so seldom get a chance to just hang out socially. And, and play music together. So, um, so it's a, it's just, it's so much fun for us. <laughs> so, so I'm glad you all are here and having a good time. But damn, this is fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it feels very indulgent to to be able to you know get together with Leah and, and play music. <laughs> oh my, so. 
and, and since she lives far away, you know, we, we're, and, and I have to say that, uh, you know, I'm usually somebody, and Sandy too, we like to like rehearse, make sure we, you know, dot every I across every T, and, and Leah was just like, just go for it, you know, just. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that, that part of it as well, I have to say. All right, <clears throat> you might know this one. I think maybe you sing this one here. Uh, I wrote this song, I wrote this song back in 1990, and um, it, has, it has been my lucky charm for, for many, many things, many reasons. It's, it's how I met Sandy O, and started singing with her, I don't know, 150 years ago, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> um, probably close to 30 years, maybe even more than 30 years ago now, right? Huh? And... Um, it's also, uh, it's, it's why there is now uh, a documentary being made about our work that we're very excited and, and proud of. And uh, that, thank you. <clears throat> so that's, that's going to be probably a couple more years um, before it is all put together. But uh, we're very excited about that. And, um, and what a joy to get to sing it with you today. So. Great Big Dipper, we are washed by the very same rain. We are swimming in the stream together, some in power, some in pain. We can worship this ground we walk on, cherishing the beings that we live beside. Loving spirits will live forever, we're all swimming to the other side. Hungering for answers in my time. I am balanced with the brink of wisdom. I'm impatient to receive a sign. I move forward with my senses open. Imperfection can be my crime. In humility, I will listen. We're all swimming to the other side. We are living beneath the great. Worship this ground we walk on, cherishing the beings that we live beside. Loving spirits will live forever. We're all swimming to the other side. On this journey through thoughts and feelings, finding intuition, my head, my heart. I am gathering the tools together. I'm preparing to do my Some in power and some in pain. We can worship this ground we walk on, cherishing the beings that we live beside. Loving spirits will live forever. We're all swimming to the other side. When we get there, we'll discover all of the gifts we've been given to share. Have been with us. Life's beginning, and we never noticed they were there. We can balance the brink of wisdom, never recognizing that we've arrived. Loving spirits will live together, 
We're all swimming to the other side. Sing it with us. We are living in the great big timber. We are washed by the very same rain. We are swimming in the stream together, some in power and some in pain. We can worship this ground we walk on, cherishing the beings that we live beside. Loving spirits will live forever. We're all swimming to the other side. Loving spirits will live forever. We're all swimming to the other side. so much, Leah. Thank you all so much for being here and being yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm learning that's kind of the formula for everything is go where you're called and show up with your whole self. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to sing this song and then I'm going to ask that we all sing one more together as we part ways today. Um, I mentioned, or I may not have, but I, I'm currently living in Germany. And uh, my life called me to be there, and it's taken a little while for me to get my whole self there, right? Like my body got there, and my stuff got there, some of it, whatever we were able to bring. And like my, some whatever it is, part of my consciousness was like, yeah, well, hmm. and it was locked down, and it's, it's a big, broad story. But the rest of me is uh, very much arriving in here and there and everywhere I am. And uh, this is one of my favorite songs that I have learned in my relationship to Germany. It's written by a man named Gerhard Schöne. And um, there's not much to say about it other than everything I've said. Spar dein Wein nicht auf für morgen. It's for Aero. <laughs> Sind Freunde da, so schenke ein. Leg, was du hast, in ihre Mitte. Durchschenken wird man reich allein. Don't save your good wine for tomorrow. Your friends are here, give them your best. Bring your fine glasses from the cabinet. Say cheers and mean it from your chest. Don't save up all your best intentions. For someday that may never come. Open your life to friends and strangers. That way you'll stay forever young. Some fine moment in the night Fill up your days with smiles and kindness And watch your strength and power ignite And please don't spare the world your courage 
Don't think that yours is not enough. Bring what you got to our common table and bless this feast with all your love. Don't save your best wine for tomorrow. Your friends are here. Give us your best. Bring your fine glasses from the cabinet. Say cheers and mean it from your chest. Da, 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 da. That's good. I needed a minute to figure out what I was going to say. <laughs> so thank you all and each for coming and hanging out with us today. <laughs> thank you so much, Reverend Leslie, for your yes and welcome. Thank you. And for helping to hold and maintain this beautiful space for us to gather and just enjoy one another and some music and some fellowship. It's a beautiful, beautiful, blessed thing, blessed ministry. And so this will be a good time to say, do y'all know Chris Matthews? She's our homegirl from D.C. area. Now she's living in Nashville, but I understand she's coming through in May. So y'all come on out and hang out with Chris and tell her Leah and Pat and Sandy say hey. And this is a song, if y'all would, Sharon, that uh, was born out of a conversation with my eldest, Layla, who was 24. She and I were solving the problems of the world. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, right? And, uh, well, <clears throat> you know how that is. But it, it started out, of course, as a song, uh, as a conversation about the problems of the world. And once the conversation was complete and we realized, oh wait, we haven't actually solved them at all. <laughs> uh, my <clears throat> takeaway and my offer to her was the most, sometimes the most that we can do is point in the direction of what we know is possible and put as much of our energy into that knowing, into that faith. Because we always, one of my favorite sayings is from a guru who says, you always have faith in something. You are always exercising, practicing, and acting out of faith in something. So be as intentional about what you believe in as possible. So this song, we're going to be singing Sandy's shirt. Oh. And I don't know how many of you <laughs> have Sandy's sh shirt. This is the shirt that was designed by Pat that says, uh, Salam, Shalom, Peace. So why don't we start with that part? Okay. <laughs> Shalom, salam, 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 shalom, salam. Beautiful. So uh, the next part is actually the original melody, and so I hope what we just sang works with it. <laughs> in this place and in this moment, I call on the name of peace. In this place and in this moment, I call on the name of peace. Peace come down. Peace come down. Peace come down. Peace come down. Let's do the shalom's again. 
Shalom, salam, shalom, salam, shalom, salam, shalom, salam. In this place, it is salam, and I call on the name of peace. Salam. other parts that I'm, really? not, I'm not sure which there is a song by a gentleman named Shlomo Grani who is an Israeli composer and he wrote a song that he calls the Jewish Arab peace song and the first part is in Hebrew and it goes Heveno Shalom Aleinu Heveno Shalom Aleinu Heveno Shalom Aleinu Heveno Shalom Aleinu and I know the you, Do you know the know translation the words, in Hebrew? No. I remember. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I read them. I received them from the, the YouTube video. Heveno Shalom Aleinu is, we have brought peace upon us. And then the words in Arabic, I'll just sing them really quickly so they're familiar to us. Ma'ana Ashman min salam, Ma'ana Ashman min salam, Ma'ana Ashman min salam, Ashman min salam, is Arabic for we have nothing more beautiful than peace. Wow. wow. Yes. So if you're willing, and you're willing, let's sing those three layered with one another. We'll start with the high voices, and anyone who wants to continue to sing the high part can continue to sing, and then we'll bring in the shalom, salam, shalom, salam. Sure. And anyone who wants to continue to sing that, and I will sing the Arabic in the hello, turkeys? Yeah. What, what? Is that what I'm looking at? Are those yes. turkeys? Yep. Okay, they squirrel. <laughs> what, even? <laughs> okay, oh boy, sorry. <laughs> it was like, oh, <laughs> just, it was unexpected. Okay. So, <laughs> and then the, the Hebrew and the Arabic and there, and, and just sing what you feel. Yeah. 